In decision 2016 now, in about an hour at 1 p.m., Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton is going to be speaking at an event at the Futuramic Tool and Engineering Plant over in Warren. That's where we find our Paula Tupman, who's joining us live now this afternoon. And Paula, we know that Clinton is going to talk jobs and the economy. Yeah, she is, but not before going past a few protesters first. Let's go upstairs. Let's show you some video that Chopper Force shot just a little while ago. Uh, we're being told about 30 protesters outside, or and I don't know if you can say that they're protesters so much as they were Trump supporters, uh, holding up signs, chanting as people were coming in. But I, I got to tell you, this is basically Democratic territory. We're talking about north of 59, might be heavily Republic, south of 59, very much a Democratic stronghold, independence mix all the way in between. Let's talk a little bit about where we are, Futuramic and Warren. Now keep in mind Warren, first of all, all of Macomb County, we're talking about an area that is geared for manufacturing. This is right in Hillary Clinton's wheelhouse. About 2,600 businesses geared toward manufacturing, 66,000 manufacturing jobs. But Futuramic in particular really does fit into many of the things that she's going to be talking about in her 100 days job program. Ben Bailey actually did a story, a, 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 a profile on Futuramic in March. Let's go to that video right Right now, we're talking about people who have retooled. Uh, before, in 1955, they started off doing uh, automo uh, automotive manufacturing, I should say. They've now switched over to aerospace and aeronautic engineering. They're even working on a program Macomb to Mars, and they're making components that are actually going to be part of uh, Mars or the planet of Mars exploration in the future. They've got about 279 employees. Many of them will be here in this hall today. So let's talk about this jobs program. I do, I do want you to go to a screen right now. These are the things that Hillary Clinton is going to be talking about. We're talking about uh, five prongs of her 100 days jobs program, rebuilding infrastructure revitalizing manufacturing okay well futuromics that's part of that helping small businesses clean energy investments and of course supporting research and technology that's also very very big this is largely going to be a very supportive crowd it is a private crowd with me is uh state representative sherry gay dan yogo yes. not yogo but it. dan yogo you you and you're very very excited about this you know i'm very excited uh to be a part of making history uh for hillary for president i'm excited not only as a legislator but as a daughter as a mom i know that hillary is going to be the type of president that truly makes us stronger together we're here at fruit Futuronomics, and they're making these parts that can be used out of space. I'm a former science teacher. How exciting is that? But Hillary is the type of president that is not going to look out just for the wealthy, uh, like her opponent losing three to four million jobs. That's what his plan would do. But her plan is going to retool America and make sure that people are put back to work. She's going to be the president that is not just a Democratic president, but she's a president now that's going to yield to all people across this country that believe in the working class. Now, we showed some video when we first came on. There were protesters or Donald Trump supporters out there. You said you saw a different sign coming in. I saw a different sign coming in. I saw Republicans for Hillary, and I actually posted a picture of that on my page a little while ago. So I know that people who need to get back to work, Michigan has been hit. We don't live in a bubble. We don't live on Fifth Avenue in New York and knowing all of the things that's taken place where the wealthy have gotten tax breaks and cuts. And that's what her opponent would do. We know she's retooling America so that we're stronger together. Jobs. Thank you very much, State Representative. And I was talking about how this is really a very, this area in particular is very, very complex in that you've got Republicans to the north, Democrats to the south. And uh, Macomb County, in fact, is the home of the Reagan Democrat. Uh, Representative Dan Yoga was saying that it's also going to become really the, the stronghold of the belly for the uh, Clinton Republican. That's now, uh, Rod here who is from maybe Michigan and you are a Democrat and you say you are supporting Hillary and let's talk about why because the only T in the room is not Trump it is trust and you say you don't have trust issues not at all how could you not want your commander-in-chief to be a person who really cares about people and social programs and has dedicated her entire life to civic programs what do you want to hear today so you're you are a supporter so you're, you're here to support. You're not necessarily here to make any more judgments. Your mind is made up. Oh, absolutely. Whatever she has to say, I'm behind her. Who wouldn't want to have a person like her 
taking care of America. You know what's so interesting is thank you very much for both of you, Rod as well as Representative. Absolutely. Really do appreciate you guys being here. Be you know here. this is guys. Uh, before I close, you know, th this is pivotal. You know Michigan uh, is it delegate rich? Well, yeah, it is. It it's got 16 electoral votes. Uh, it is one of these battleground states. Uh, Hillary Clinton has been climbing in our polls. She still is struggling in uh, 11 Georgia. Eleven points and moving. Eleven points and moving. Yes. She's still struggling in Missouri uh, and Georgia. In fact, she's starting to inch up in Georgia a bit, but but also winning Pennsylvania. But this is still one of those states that, that really could go either way. And so you can expect for her to come here, particularly when she's talking about these 100-day jobs programs, because this is the belly of her message. We're talking about a state that put you know, the country and the world on wheels, and, and, and no pun intended, but this really could be her wheelhouse. Guys, back to you. Or I Alrighty. should say, Everett, back to you. All righty, Paul. And of course, you can watch her speak live on our website. Just go to clickondetroit.com at 1 o'clock.